comes in a box like this. And when you open it, it looks like this. And then underneath the box are two envelopes. One should be for your receipt and one should be for um, the authenticity to prove that it's authentic. And let's see, what does it say? So this one right here just says, thank you for your purchase or thank you for shopping with Celine. We hope you enjoy your purchase and look forward to seeing you again soon. And it has our phone number, client services which I highly recommend. Um, and then of course this one is, okay. So yeah, that gives you your information. So that's really nice how they, um, I like the presentation of it. And so then after you take all that out, this is the packaging, which is good so the box won't move around. And so it's, a, it's packaged really nicely. Then you just open it up like so, and I have a little detail there. And let's see if I can do this very carefully. I like watching people's videos on unboxing because some people do such a good job at this. So, not too shabby. And um, it comes in its little pouch. When you open it up, it has the tags, and then, so I like this because, um, you know, that was just padding. I like it because of the room and how much it can hold. It can also hold your keys, and I like how it has this locking mechanism where you just twist it to lock it. And usually some of these come right off. And I guess if you're very rough, they can come off. But I like how your wallet can fit in here. Or this can just be like a small clutch if you're traveling in the city. This, because my wallets are never that big. Um, so you can just stick it in here. I like that I don't have to be careful when it rains on it that uh, it's going to get ruined. So cursive and then there's one that's black. And I know that I've seen over time these come off, but I was like, eh. When I get these things, I make sure they're going to be used as workhorses. So um, there's a lot of these on the uh, designer websites that sell secondhand. Anyway, I figure this is <laughs> just so easy. You can fit it anywhere. And if your jacket has pockets, you can just fit it in there. And I don't know, easy to travel with. And that's what I like because it was big, bigger than a wallet, but it can fit a lot of things. For instance, right here, these are just examples. This is not what I'm going to put in there, but um, you've got this nice size and... It's not gonna zip over it, but if I lay that down, lay this one down, so that's a duplicate of the same that I just showed you, and a lipstick. That's, and that's just laying them down, which they're gonna take up more space. Now, these aquaphors, I can't stand up because they're too big. The lipstick is gonna be too big to stand up, but I can lay it down and Let's see, what else can you fit in here? Just as an example. Highlighters. I like these, these are from Target. Altitude, there's, I have a whole set of them. But I could fit one, two, three. Let's see, do I have another small one? I separated these. Um, some are in my bag and some are here. But I think I even have room to fit one more. I wanted to see if I had one, another one of these there. 
And just out of curiosity, okay, so I fit, let's say three markers. And then, not that you're gonna put this in, but just to give you an idea, the white out, of course I'll lay that down. And then, I mean, this is extreme, but it just shows you it can hold. That's why I liked it. And I like that you don't have to baby. I don't like stuff that you have to baby because the way I run busy all the time, to me, if I gotta baby it, I won't get it. Um, that's why I'm very careful what, what I get as my daily use. And I sold a couple of my bags um, on eBay and I was able to save up and get this as well as using some of my Visa uh, gift card uh, rewards. So anyway, I hope that's helpful for you as to um, something that you want to purchase for yourself. Um, like I said, it's not necessary. Um, if you find something with the same dimensions and you can find the dimensions on the website, um, if you find something with similar dimensions uh, that is cheaper, please post it below because I always like uh, the cheaper end of things. But I also like things that are going to last. And like right now I can tell you this just came in the mail, but I can already see, you know, the folds in it. And this little piece right here seems to be that you can tell it wasn't manufactured correctly. Because you can see the flaw right there. And I might return it and see if they have a replacement that doesn't have this bulge right there. Because if it already starts off with something problematic like that, it makes me wonder, will that damage or um, interfere with the integrity of the item and will it damage quicker so things to consider look at your product when it comes in make sure that it's something that you can live with and if it's not make sure you get it replaced because here i can see when i'm looking at this angle that there's two bumps in it and you can tell that there's you know already and maybe you can work with it because it looks like it flattens but that was very noticeable as soon as it came out so anyways i hope you enjoy the video and um, let me know if you have one bye